In this problem, we want to find a point of diminishing returns to the function r, revenue, and x is amount spent. So we've got r is equal to negative x to the third plus 6x squared plus 2. Now to find our point of diminishing returns, that's the same as the point of inflection, we first have to find our second derivative. So our first derivative, r prime, uh, take the power, put it out in front, lower by 1, so negative 3x squared, plus 6 times, take your power, put it out in front, lower by 1, and 2 drops away. So that gives us negative 3x squared plus 12x. Now for our second derivative, we'll take the derivative of what we just found. So negative 3 stays out in front. The derivative of x squared, take your power, put it out in front, lower by 1, and 12x just becomes 12. So that gives us negative 6x plus 12. Well, we then want to set that equal to 0. So I got negative 6x plus 12 equal to 0. And solve it. So I'll take negative 6x to the right side and it becomes a positive 6x. Divide both sides by 6. And we get x is equal to 2. And that's our critical value. So we'll put 2 here, clear over here is negative infinity, clear over here is positive infinity, in theory. Now realize what x represents. x is the amount spent. Well, does uh, negative infinity make sense? No. Uh, 0 might be, might be the first one to actually make sense, but uh, infinity doesn't make sense either. You can't spend an infinite number of dollars. It may seem like it. Um, but again, we'll, we'll just go with those. Because I'm not going to go too far away from 2 anyway. So I'm going to choose test cases. Uh, let's choose x equals 1. Uh, something between negative infinity and 2. And something on this side, between 2 and positive infinity, 3. Now we want to plug those into our second derivative, which is right here. And I probably don't need to calculate for this. It's pretty straightforward. So i got negative 6 times 1 plus 12. And negative 6 times 3 plus 12. Negative 6 times 1 is negative 6 plus 12 is positive, so it's concave up. Negative 6 times 3 is negative 18 plus 12 is negative, so that's concave down. Now your point of inflection, which is also our point of diminishing returns, is where the concavity changes. See how this is concave up and this is concave down? Well, that means we've got a POI, point of inflection at x equals 2. Now remember, uh, point of inflection is the same as the point of diminishing returns. Uh, let's see, point of diminishing returns. Okay, so we're going to have x equals 2, so i got 2 here, comma. Now to find out what the r is, we're going to plug 2 into our original function. So we've got r is equal to negative 2 to the third, plus 6 times 2 squared, plus 2. 2 to the third is 8, so we got negative 8. 2 squared is 4 times 6 is 24, plus 2. Uh, negative 8 plus 24 is 16, plus 2, which is 18. So our point of diminishing returns would be 218. x is 2, and r is 18. And is that all there on the function r and x? Yeah, point of diminishing returns.